Hey everyone, it's Elaine and welcome back to my channel. You know how much I enjoy doing ATCs. I've told you before how I've been with an ATC group for, I don't know, 15 years probably at least. And through the years I have tried to get an ATC from every state. Well, sometimes I think that I might actually have more states than this. But I noticed when I went back over the cards that not everybody had put their city and state on there. So this is what I know for sure that I have where people live. So I was showing this off and um, Kath, who I met through YouTube and then other social media, we've kind of chatted back and forth and she has a great sense of humor. I um. Actually, she reached out to me and she says, I can help you with one of those states. And I was like, okay. And I thought I'd just wait and be surprised. She asked me for my address and I gave it to her. And sure enough, look what I got in the mail. First of all, let me see if I can get it open. I got a beautiful card from her. I just think that is so pretty, the great colors. And then, of course, a beautiful note inside. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me, everybody. But then I got these two beautiful ATC cards. And she did the back just like she's supposed to. I mean, they're all legit. <laughs> but I do want to appreciate... Or, excuse me, I'm tongue-tied today. I do want to show my appreciation to Kath and show all her work. They're just beautiful to me. And um, so guess what I get to do? Drum roll. And let me get my highlighter. I get to mark off the state of Michigan. Yep, I got one more state here. So I'm excited about that. And I'm just going to do it here. It's not the same highlighter as you can tell I've been using. But it's okay. I wanted to kind of just do it in a yellow. Not pinks and greens and blue highlighters, all that. Kind of keep it monotone. So how about that? So I've got one more, and I still have a few more to go. But I went online, and I found another ATC group. Now, I'm not going to be leaving my um, IO group, not by any stretch of the imagination. But I thought, you know, let me see what else we can do. And if you have followed me for any length of time, you know that one of the biggest things that I've been doing for, well, over two years now, is trying to use what I have. I'm not going to tell you I don't buy stuff. I do. But not like I used to. My goal these days is to use what I have. So anyway, this group, um, one of the challenges was a button swap. Now, the deal was, you weren't going to swap buttons on your ATC cards. The hostess was going to send you five buttons, and then you had to incorporate those buttons onto an ATC, and then you were given three people to trade with, the fourth one you send to the hostess, and then the fifth one you got to keep. So, I have finished them, I hope. Now, I have not done the backs on these yet. They're pretty much hot off the press, so I do need to be careful with a couple of them. I think my um, glossy accents still might be wet. So, the first one is Mr. Shark. Now, isn't he a hoot? This is something that I would never do on my own. I just don't have buttons and things like that. This is supposed to be coral. And I'm sure you all know that's hot glue from Hot Glue Gun. And then I did just some embellishments with some little sequin things or jewels. And then along the bottom, I have had for a very long time a little sack of these little individual little um, seashells. They're tiny, tiny, tiny. And then that next layer is flower soft. And it's not so much the fluffy. I don't know if there was another kind or did I do something to it and then these little fishes here were um, brads now the paper behind it I know you can't tell and I've already mounted it on something sturdier was wallpaper and there was a time when I would get 
like wallpaper, didn't quite know what to do with it. And maybe it would be torn or something weird with it. So I would take and sit just in front of the TV with a little TV tray and I would cut out ATC shapes. And um, so I have a ton, a ton of paper that is already two and a half by three and a half. So this is definitely a use what I have project. So that is button number one, Mr. Shark. Now, staying with the same theme, she sent me a little mermaid. And again, I pretty much did the same thing, except in my glue gun, I had some gold hot glue. So once it got squished out, I just turned it into a rock. And in this case, I um, used blue wallpaper again, but I did extreme, well, I painted a, um, a blue over it that has shimmer to it. And then I used an extreme glitter paint that I've had again forever and it actually kind of started to clump up a little bit so I need to get using it before it goes bad that's absolutely been one of my favorite products through the years and again the hot glue and the little jewels and everything and the little mermaid sitting on a rock and then I took holographic extreme glitter and went over the whole thing one more time including the mermaid so even she has a little bit of shimmer to her as if she's under the water. Now, the next one I did, these um, three buttons, she counted as one. And I th here's, here's her little card. This is how she sent them to us. They were tied on with pipe cleaners. So you can see these were the three. Um, so in this case, I just took some blue um, scrapbook paper or whatever it was, cardstock that was in my junk table. And I had already punched out this grassy looking kind of dye, but it was white. So I painted it a couple shades of green, some more flower soft. And then this is just with the gold pen, the stars. This is some gold paint. That is just a small piece of yellow paper out of my scrap pile. But when I covered it up with glossy accents and walked away from it, it kind of drew the paper up. So it kind of curled up when I came back the next this morning. And then I did have a little kind of plasticky little star. But that when I flattened it, then it cracked and there were some bubbles that came up. But you know what? I like it. It's kind of the man in the moon. You know, the moon's got all kinds of little crevices and stuff. So that is my third button. Now, my fourth button is this cat. And I'm going to tell you. When I saw the cat, I was like, what in the world am I going to do? This one took me a minute to think about. The two underwater ones, pretty easy for me. Kind of had an idea about the pumpkin patch. But the cat was like, really? So what I did is I just took a piece of cardboard, um, like chipboard type stuff that comes on the back of paper pads, and I cut out these shapes that are their scratching posts. And I wrapped it up with twine. And this behind it is wallpaper sample. And here it is. Um, it, you know, I had a small piece of it. And I thought, well, let me do this as if we're in a room. And I kind of have to do it to scale because we're only dealing with two and a half by three and a half. So that's wallpaper. That's their scratching post. The little kitty's on the top one. And then this is another piece of chipboard that I kind of tried to cut and miter cut it the best I could so it would be like a picture frame hanging on the wall. And then I had these epoxy stickers that, again, I've had forever. They're starting to fall off of their paper and everything. So I did my best to try to cut that and put it inside the frame as if it were a picture. And I really think this is actually kind of adorable. It was a little labor intensive. Um, getting that twine and everything wrapped around that chipboard, but it's okay. Now the last one, I don't know, nothing really came to me, but since I get to keep one myself, this next one is the one I'm going to keep. Okay. And what it is, this is actually a set of plans from where I used to work. And 
it is, um, I cut it down, and then I had these old stickers that were like uh, bulldozers and dump trucks and stuff. So I thought, well, this is definitely a plans for construction. So I did that little sticker. The car is the button. But on this set of stickers around the edge, and just for decoration, it wasn't stickers, they had these little bitty like strips. And that is like the smallest little gravel you have ever seen. So I just cut it and put it on the bottom. And it's like I'm riding down the road. So this is the one I'm going to keep for myself. Now, the other thing that is that I'm lucky about is the people that I'm trading with, one is California, one is Texas, but the hostess is New Jersey. And New Jersey is one of the places I do not have on my map. So yippee yay yay I get to add another one to my map. And I'm so excited. So anyhow, these are my five button swaps. And I still do have to put my information and the swap info on the backs of them. But like I said, I'm kind of letting them dry and hang out for a little bit. But I just wanted to pop in and show you. This is a sample of using what you have. There is nothing here that I have purchased. Um, some of this stuff is really old that's on here. And I'm using it up. So I want to say thanks to Kath. And I want to say thanks to Nancy who was the hostess of this. And I do appreciate everybody coming by to take a look. And remember, you know, I have a Facebook group. I have Instagram and Twitter. I try to do my video that it comes out every Tuesday evening. And I also have a little Etsy store. Not a whole lot in it, but go by and check. You might see something that you're interested in. And by all means, please subscribe to my channel and give me that thumbs up. I appreciate your time and I appreciate you very much. So. You stay safe and behave yourselves. Bye.